Hello there folks and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy X. It's L58 and uh, sorry about the uh, audio issues last episode, it was a little too loud. So I kind of turned things down and did all that fun stuff. This episode, I'm going to do a little oh, bit of exploring. Uh, since we get a free Chocobo ride, I am going to use it. Now with the Chocobo, you don't run into any random encounters, it's true. But in this case, I don't... If I, if I left it with the random encounters, this would probably be two episodes long. And some of the uh, items I'm trying to get, I would need the chocobo for. So, yeah, gotta make that work, you know? Okay, let's see here. We run all the way down, we get uh, one rare item, but here, let's see. What's going on here? What are you doing on this road? Well, you know. I see. The high road ends over there. However, we have sealed off the area beyond for the duration of our operation here. You may ask the gate captain up ahead if you need to pass through. Well, thanks for letting us know about that. Hmm. Alright, so I just need to remember where all the secrets are. Where are all the secrets? Let's see. We go over here. You see a little chocobo feather. That's the little indicator that yeah, your chocobo can do something there. And as you see, he jumps up and gets a chest and we get the fortune sphere. Cool. I believe that's the one that allows us to make a luck uh, node. Coming down to the old road was a mistake. You can't run a business with no customers. Say, so, can I interest you? And cool, there's Spare. a Wonka. And I have enough Jill to give him enough to uh, go over 10,000. Make it up to you. Sweet. So now I'll get the best uh, possible discount, which I believe is 0.7. Uh, it's like it's like 30% off. <laughs> and yeah, all the way at the end here we get the Mars Crest, and uh, we'll be using that way later in the game. Uh, but it's good to get now, so we don't have to come back here and go get it. And I guess there's... I just warning we could jump up around here. I don't see any feathers, I'm just gonna give up on that. Because <laughs> we got plenty more to, to search around. And I don't want to make the whole episode about it, I want to get some story going on. I think there's a place I can jump up there. I might come back to that. We'll see. We're just, we're gonna have a good time. Enjoy the inve enjoy the adventure, jeez. Someone can't talk right now. Well, it's kinda late. I usually do these in, like, the afternoon. It's pretty late for me. And I'm not drunk. Now, how do I get over there? I'm pretty sure that it's from down there, but... You can never be too sure. Oh, here we go. Here's another spot. I mean, these items aren't like, oh my god, if you mess them, you're in deep trouble. But they're just nice to get. Let's see, what do we get here? A heat lance. Cool. I probably won't be using it, but, you know, still nice to get. I'm trying to get as much as I can remember. I don't think there's anything past this, so yeah, I'm gonna just edit back down here. I'm gonna go back to the uh, the downward path, and I'm sure there it is. There it is. Perfect. So yeah, don't keep going back down the road unless you want to go back all to to Luca. Or yeah, which you really don't have much of a reason to. In my opinion. So we got everything we need and we can continue the story, I believe. Yep. Cool. Alright, let's get off this chocobo. chocobo. Come on, everyone off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Nada and Luzu reporting, sir. This is the last of them. Good to have you with us. Go on through. Show me how to play Blitz sometime. Wait around. We'll have Sin beaten in no time. Alright, and with that, we try to move past here, but they just will not let us. They... When they say right here. And her guardian, yeah, sorry right? for the inconvenience, sorry blah, the blah, inconvenience. blah. Uh, he asked about the blocking. operation, uh, and, sorry, and uh, you... it talked to him further. He'll ask for donations. I actually, I'm gonna... Oh, I'll, I'll explain in a sec. Again, Lady Yuna. I yes. You look troubled. Is there anything I can do? <sighs> well. I see. Maester Seymour, let me show you to the command center. Hold. I have a request. Yes, Your Grace. I need to have Summoner Yuna and her guardians let through to the command center. But... but Maester Seymour... Maester Seymour, sir. Do not worry. I will take full responsibility. Very well, they may pass. It is done. Oh, thank you, Your Grace. Yuna, it's time to go. Oh, right. Who does he think he is? He's a maester. Better get used to it, yeah? <laughs> okay, what I was going to say is if you talk to the guard on the left, uh, he'll ask for donations, and if you donate 100 Jill, you'll get um, a scout in, in, in for an exchange. If you donate 1,000, you'll get an ice lance for Kamari. All hail, Maester Seymour. Yeah. Brave crusaders of Spira, protectors of all Spira. Believe in the path you have chosen. Let faith be your strength. I, Seymour Guado, Maester of Yevon, will bear witness to your deeds today. What's going on? Why is Maester Seymour back in the crusaders, eh? They're using Albed's machina. They're violating the teachings. Even going against the teachings? They're willing to risk it for the greater good. Waka, I think Maester Seymour sees that too. <laughs> Lulu! Hmm. I can only speculate. Ask him yourself. Ah, Sir Oran. It is an honor. I would be most interested in hearing what you've been doing these past ten years. I've got nothing to say about it. I... see. Sir Aran must be a great asset as a guardian. Your Grace! Please, there's no need for formalities. Excuse me, Maester Seymour. Why is your Lordship presently Present here, sir. Please, speak as you normally would. Uh, 
Isn't this operation against the teachings of Yevon? Aren't you gonna stop them? It's true. I should. Mm -mm. However, both the Crusaders and the Albed truly wish peace for Spira. This Operation Mihen was born from that wish they share. Although it may be sacrilege to Yevon, their intentions are pure. And I, Seymour Guado, the person, not the Maester of Yevon, as a denizen of Spira, I wish them well in their endeavor. But using Machina, that's bad, isn't it? Pretend you didn't see them. <gasps> Beg your pardon, but that's not something a Maester should say. Then pretend I didn't say it. You're kidding. From the first time I laid eyes on him, I never did like Seymour. But you know, some of the things he said that day, they made a lot of sense to me. Ah, uh, geez, now we're so far ahead of the story. If you donate 10,000 Jill, you'll get to Yuna's mood ring, or moon ring, which is, uh, I mean, it's all right. <laughs> and then, yeah, we'll talk to some of these guys. We'll get some, uh, items as usual. Excuse me, Lady Summoner Yuna? Yes. The command center. Maester Seymour requests your presence there, ma'am. Thank you. Take that road to the command center. It's not far. We're still in the midst of preparations this way. Sorry. Okay, so this next portion here, definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting Lulu, um, you know, work on her because, uh, you want to get her as far into the sphere grid so she can learn her next level of, you know, fire, ice, you know, fire up, blizzard up, whatever they call it, the, the second level of it, because it, uh, there's a boss fight coming up where it'd be very, very useful. Now, ju just a little bit past this part, there are harder enemies, so you'll gain more AP, so you'll level up a little bit faster. But, uh, I'd say kind of, you know, stick around the area, get her up enough levels to where you are able to use, or able to get those abilities, because it will make the upcoming boss fight much, much easier. So, um, also, I'd say work on Oron. Uh, you'll be, uh, using him in, uh, the boss fight, too, and, yeah, the more worked up he is, the better off, uh, you'll be. I figured I'd show you guys, you know, me just going through my, uh, equipment rather than just editing it out. Once in a while, I figure I'll show you guys what's up. My thought process here. And yeah, I'm gonna get, uh, Titus's, uh, uh, the, the, the weapon that allows him to counter. And, uh, I'll explain that in, in just a little bit. Probably next episode, actually. Well, no, I could do it in this episode. Now, as far as earning your overdrives are concerned, you, you normally earn it when you get attacked, as you just saw right there with Arn. Now, throughout the game, depending on how you play this certain character, they can earn their overdrive gauge um, through different ways. They could do it every time they attack an enemy or hit an enemy, every time they heal an ally, every time um, an ally of theirs gets hit, every time they kill an enemy. I mean, there's all these different uh, options. And I'd say right around this point in the game, maybe a little bit later for yeah. longer for you, um, you'll, you know, characters right. will start to earn this stuff. So my favorite is the. Uh, the, the warrior setup, which is every time they attack, uh, they gain a little bit more to their gauge. And with Titus, you know, he learns his overdrives depending on uh, how many times uh, you use it. So, warrior's really good for him with counter. Anyways, folks, next episode we'll be uh, going through this area and uh, hopefully find some bosses. Until then, the Cell 58 saying thanks for watching. Take care.
Bye.